Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? So we talked about AI in my previous videos. Today we are taking a look at an interesting subject, approximate dynamic programming for dynamic vehicle routing. So let's see what's this all about and then we'll jump into code. For this video, I'm gonna show you a solution for traveling salesman problem, which our problem is originated from, and then code the solution in the Python environment. So let's get into it. For solving the vehicle routing problem, or VRP for short, we first must know about the traveling salesman problem. The TSP is a very well known problem in theoretical computer science and operations research. In TSP, given a set of cities and the distance between each pair of cities, a salesman needs to choose the shortest path to visit every city exactly once and return to the city from where he started. For solving this problem, we're gonna use dynamic programming. Dynamic programming is an algorithmic technique for solving an optimization problem by breaking it down into simpler sub-problems and utilizing the fact that optimal solution to the overall problem depends upon the optimal solution to its sub-problems. So for solving TSP using dynamic approach, we should follow the pseudocode that I brought here. Here we use some initial data and get the cost for going through each possible route. We can see dynamic programming in action in this pseudocode. So when we run this program, it will use previously calculated costs in our current calculation. Okay, now I'll explain the code that I wrote for solving TSP using dynamic programming. So we have two Python files. One is our library file and the other one is our main file. In the library file, we import the necessary libraries, which the main ones are NumPy and Matplotlib. Then in the main file, we have three functions. The first function generates our cities for us and it is called before we solve the TSP. It returns a location array of cities and distances matrix. In the main function, we have our starting point and we delete that from our cities list. Then we call the TSP function. In the TSP function, we apply the dynamic programming approach that we talked about and we get the optimal solution. And finally, we plot the results. Now let's run the program and see the results. Here we have the location of the cities and the optimal road to go through them. Let me run with some other parameters and see the results. Okay, that's it. Now let's look at the vehicle routing problem. Vehicle routing problem is a combinatorial optimization and integer programming problem which asks what is the optimal set of routes for a fleet of vehicles to traverse in order to deliver to a given set of customers? It generalizes the well-known traveling salesman problem. For solving this problem, we are going to use approximate dynamic programming. Approximate dynamic programming, or ADP for short, is a broad umbrella for a modeling and algorithmic strategy for solving problems that are sometimes large and complex and are usually stochastic. It is most often presented as a method for overcoming the classical curse of dimensionality that is well known to plague the use of Bellman's equation. Finally, we get to the code required to solve VRP using approximate dynamic programming. After days of searching for a clear algorithm that is straightforward, here is the algorithm for solving VRP using ADP. I found this pseudocode in a newly written paper entitled A Tutorial on Value Function Approximation for Stochastic Dynamic Transportation Problems. It is similar to the algorithm presented by Olmer et al. Now I'll explain this code which is similar to the Python script that I wrote for solving TSP. So in step 0, we choose an initial state and initial approximation for V bar for all states. Then in step 1, we choose the sample pass omega. Then in a for loop of t's from 0 to t, we solve step 1b, 1c, and 1d. In step 1b, we solve the policy x hat and value v hat. 
and in step 1c if we have epsilon which is our step size parameter we draw a random move x tilde and solve v hat if v tilde is greater or equal to v hat then we put that v tilde in v hat and then solve the state space finally we update v bar for all states now let's look at the code similar to our tsv code here we have the library file the solver and our classes and also main python file again we first have the generate instances function with list of edges and we use it in our solution function we go further and use our initial parameters in our solver which holds our vfa algorithm that we use in line 62 here and finally we plot the results in classes file we have a class named edge and in the solver file we have the vfa algorithm which i explained its algorithm before it returns the approximation per state number of visits per state approximated value of initial state after n iterations and the vfa value if we run this program we get a figure that shows the number of iterations and expected value of initial state so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching